Hey, how you doing? Today we're going to be looking at this track. So this track is called Cut It Loose and it's from my album. It is a complete tribute to the one and only Francis Rocco Prestia, the bass player from Tower of Power. If you're not aware of Tower of Power, you need to check them out right now. And when I was a kid, I used to work in a restaurant selling cups of tea and washing up and I'd get paid £1.50 an hour. And Tower of Power records were about 15 quid at the time and it would take me 10 hours of serving tea to get enough money to buy their albums. And I loved them and rinsed them because Rocco, Francis Rocco Prestia, was so funky as a bass player. He had the whole 16th note thing down, which if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I love it, right? The whole right hand kind of, that kind of grooving, driving bass lines, I, I love. And Rocco is the king of that. So this song is a tribute to Rocco. We've unfortunately lost Rocco fairly recently. And as a kid, well, as a 19 year old, I got to meet him um, after a show that they did in London. And the guy was just a really beautiful, encouraging human. He even called me his son, which made my day. And it's so nice to meet heroes and them actually be as inspiring as you hope they would be and so so yeah so he's just a legend we wouldn't have tracks like Jacko's come on come over we wouldn't have that without Rocco you know he just inspired all the bass players to be a bit hipper than they already are so hopefully this will inspire you to do the same. And what I want to look at is I want to look at a one little thing today, which is just a muting thing. And on this track, Cut It Loose, which you can buy the backing track and the sheet music from my website, jimmyclock.com. It's all there for you to enjoy. But I want you to just focus on this one thing, right? And this is something Rocco did all the time. Now the bass line, for the first section of my track. Oh, it, you must notice as well. Look at this. I've got a nice big pad of foam taped to the, just above my bridge. I've got this nice kind of classic P bass. So I've got that really kind of, everything's really dead and nicely kind of, um, yeah, just lovely, that kind of old school P-Bass sound from a five string Stingray, by the way, which is um, which is interesting. So the one thing, sorry, I got very distracted then. The one thing that I want you to learn today or to get from this lesson, to draw from this lesson is playing with dynamics and mute ghost notes, all right? So dynamics, so the volume of each note, mutes your kind of ghost notes and putting those together. So the bass line for this goes like this, it goes. So the main important notes are bum, bum, gat, gat. Bum, bum, gat, gat, gat. Bum, bum, gat, gat, right? And that's the groove, that's where I'm feeling it. So I'm going. Right, so that's where the the groove is laid down. That's the foundation of it. That's when you're listening to it in the club, you're kind of feeling that, that groove, right? Now, what's important to look at as well is that he doesn't go, Rocco wouldn't go, he wouldn't play that as four notes. He wouldn't go, ba -da -da -da. he would hit the first note, but, and then do two mutes, Right, so it sounds that you you imagine it in your head going ba da da da, but it doesn't. It goes but ga, rather than right. Now this is really important because drummers do this all the time, right? If you've got a drummer, any kind of oh, let's take the Purdy Shuffle, right, which goes boof da ga boof da ga boof da ga boof da ga 
right? You've got all those ghost notes in there. Now, if you were to play them all heavy, as all full notes, it'd go, and it'd be awful. It wouldn't have any feel to it. But by doing, by muting these two notes, instead of going, going, you're creating that same kind of vibe. Every, every kind of musician or a good musician has this kind of dynamic range within their playing. You'll hear it in drums, as I've already said. You'll hear it in guitar players who are doing their kind of jig gang jig jig You know, it's some stuff is accented and some some stuff isn't. Piano players um, in their solos, you're getting that groove which is coming through within the notes. Sax players do it. Everyone does it, right? So, or the groovy players do it. So, something to think about. And this track is full of those little kind of lines. It's full of those kind of things because that's what was great about Rocco's playing. He was very busy, but it was very funky. And he he created a great groove with his playing. So it wasn't just ba da 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 da. It was ba ba ga ga ba da ba ga ba 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 da ba ba da ba da ga ga ba da ga ba ba. Really percussive, really cool. And so by getting hold of the backing track and the sheet music, you can kind of can kind of really go deep into this groove, look at it, work it out, play along with the track, and yeah, just enjoy yourself. But more importantly than kind of going to my site and downloading that and anything else, I urge you to go and check out some Tarot Power. Go and just kind of rinse all their albums, listen to tunes like Soul Vaccination, You've Got a Funkifies, What Is Hip, Down to the Nightclub, all those kind of things. Credit, like the, the groove on that that he did on that was great. You're still a young man. Loads of amazing, amazing grooves that... Um, will make you smile. They'll just make you want to, yeah, they'll just make you want to smile. So um, yeah, go check them out. Hope you have a great day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more of this kind of talkings and ramblings about the bass guitar. And yeah, check out my site as well because there's loads of backing tracks and sheet music from my album, my album Time to Fly, which is also available on iTunes and Spotify and all that stuff. So cool. All right, hopefully see you soon. Bye.